So in 2015, I was 130 kilograms. I was diagnosed as pre-diabetic. Uh, I realized at that moment that I needed to make drastic changes. And it How had, I was at so minus three, 32 years old. 32? Yeah. And uh, you know, I was academically gifted. Uh, you know, I got my doctorate. Uh, I found food as an excuse to uh, eat whenever I want. Uh, you know, f uh, food's more accessible nowadays than it's ever been before. Uh, all types of different food as well. Uh, being abroad as well, away from my family, uh, studying. Uh, you know, I had this ability to eat whenever I wanted. The fridge was always there in front of me. And uh, I knew I had a problem, but I wasn't willing to solve it. I feel like uh, some people that face that this road to diabetes and obesity uh, are in denial sometimes uh, and they don't want to accept that drastic changes need to happen as soon as possible. And I had to wait till the last second obviously to make these drastic changes. Uh, it was a slow, uh, very um, composed process. It took three years. I never went to go see a doctor. Uh, I never went to see a nutritionist. I never had a coach. Uh, in fact, I created my own food program over 20 times uh, until I realized that I should cut out meat and chicken which I have for two years uh, until I realized that I should be eating more plant-based 90% raw food and uh, t until the day we speak today I'm still learning about food this is the most important thing I want to share is uh, I'm a runner I'm running 2070 kilometers from Abu Dhabi to Mecca Saudi Arabia February 1st I'm the first person to run from Fujairah to Abu Dhabi non-stop which means I only slept for one hour and 15 minute intervals. I've run the distance from Dubai to Washington DC in 2018. 10,450 kilometers. I've run it. I haven't run to DC because there's a sea, but I run the distance from Dubai to Washington DC. I only started running November uh, 2017. So I was not a runner, but I hated running before. But I was trying to explain to the crowd that um, we have to uh, get out of our comfort zones and we have to suffer a little bit to learn a lot about ourselves. Uh, we won't learn anything about ourselves in our comfort zones. So, uh, you know, whether it's learning a new language or whether it's, uh, you know, learning how to do something that ma makes you feel d uncomfortable, you'll learn a lot about yourself. And another thing I really want to share is, before I take off, is in preparation in anything we do in life is the most important thing. The end result is a celebration. Uh, I um, am prepared to run this distance uh, in 10 days. When I reach Mecca, uh, it won't, I, I will feel very satisfied. As a Muslim, reaching Mecca on, by foot is something I can't compare. I get goosebumps thinking about it. But I'm very prepared to reach Mecca. So there's not going to be any, uh, how, what do you say, uh, there, there won't be any secrets. Or I felt everything. I felt the pain. I felt the suffering. I've been in difficult situations, I've run in different terrains, so uh, this is my celebration. By the way, I'm flat-footed on both feet, so you're not meant to be running when you're flat-footed. Uh, I've seen a doctor uh, eight months after I started running, and I have curves on my feet now, so I reverse my flat-footedness as well, if you want to talk about it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm no longer diabetic. Uh, if you told me three years ago I'd be speaking in a health forum, I'd tell you you're crazy, all right? So, but this is the life we live in. You know, we live in a life where change uh, can happen. I would, I would, I would definitely share my experience. Tell people sometimes it's um, important to listen to others, but others will not understand what you're going through. Uh, it's a journey. Uh, what I've been through in three years is a journey uh, that I, I shared in my book, which is coming out in English very soon, called "The Secret Is There Is No Secret." But um, uh, there will be a lot of naysayers telling you that what you're doing is insane or what you're doing is wrong. But um, it's really important to share your message with your community, wherever you are in the world. We live in a very safe and great country with great leadership that provide us everything. And His Excellency Saeed Harab just showed us our, uh, uh, the facilities available in Dubai, just Dubai, uh, for people to go out and, and, and do whatever they want, whether it's walk or get on a bicycle. So um, it's very hard to find an excuse unless uh, you know, you're diagnosed from an early age with a severe case of obesity, it's very hard to say I can't do it. I mean, my son, when he grows older and he tells me he's lazy, there's not a road on this country I haven't put my foot on. Uh, I've run on every highway you can think of. Uh, I've run on every street, every corner. So uh, it's just trying to show a message that anything's possible, it has to be through hard work and determination and the will uh, to always create bigger and better goals. I mean, this is life, right? Creating goals and achieving them.